getting ranked off of one tournament. That right is now. crazy. Say hello to SoCal PR. Man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just you're stay welcome. consistent, man. You can't, All right. you can't enter any more Arcadians. So yeah, <laughs> sorry, man. All right, here we go. Already into the next match of uh, Winter Semis. Larry Lur versus AC Snake. Now, Larry is such an experienced brawl, like, veteran player. I always want to see how he plays the Snake match over Wolf. I, I feel like he just inherently knows Snake's weaknesses. So he will definitely capitalize when Snake's in disadvantage, I feel like. Yeah, disadvantage is something to look at. And just specifically when they're in disadvantage, oh you look God. at the precision, right? God. Because Wolf doesn't have the most precise hitboxes. A lot of them are kind of sweeping. And that's what part of what makes him so good. But Snake in particular takes advantage of a lot of sweeping hitboxes with the fact that he has grenade to kind of you know trade with you all the time. It but it's all about being precise against Snake. So we'll see how Larry is able to place these hitboxes. And, and Larry is one of the most precise players as like as far as movement, hitbox positioning with his character. It's very on point. You can see right now AC's definitely scrambling to get some control back in the game, but there's the up tilt. I like the little, you know, walk back and forth, assess where Larry's gonna jump and then just catch his landing, but still in a rough spot, man. When you're a snake, like force to recover high. <laughs> Well, Larry's just so good at, like, at catching Snake. Like, he's just so good at reacting in general. You know, this is the tech chase guy. When I think of Wolf's that tech chase, Larry's the first yeah, one. For and, real. and, like, you saw AC go high, and Larry literally just stood there and said, I have so much time to just wait and see yeah. what you do. Whereas another player might have, like, tried to press the issue, go up and get them, that kind of thing. He's I like that he chilling. immediately went for the up air, too. Not even waiting for, like, a B reverse yeah. mix up from uh, AC. But. Still, AC. Down throw, picks up the grenade. Oh, he actually got more damage out of that. Definitely good for Larry just because he has that extra stock right now. Yeah, AC trying to get tricky with his grenade setups, but I, Larry just like, he just sees it. You know, yeah, he, he sees pulling the grenade, see him like reversing over and over. Larry just staying centered, like staying grounded basically. And the pressure hasn't allowed AC to cook grenades too much, and I think that's the big one. There's the F throw tech chase. Okay. Yeah, I like the uh, turnaround for reverse. Grenade from the ledge. Make it so if you try to swing on them while they're jumping, you can trade with the grenade instead. And that's going to allow AC to get that up tilt. Ooh! Ooh. The bravery, the man. One. Yeah, that was brave. <laughs> that was brave. I like AC going for a play like that, though. Yeah, you're down like this. You know, hit that F smash on the landing with, like, no jump on Wolf. And he doesn't lose a ton right there. I mean, he loses the fact that he had stage control, right? Yeah. But past that, he doesn't really lose too much. Yeah, yeah, he's living. Might have been. I've seen AC win these, but that 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 was uh, trying to shield grab an aerial. You get crossed up. Yeah, especially like Wolf's backer can be really ambiguous with his cross up. So I don't blame him for that one at all. Here's one going to Larry. Looking good in the Wolf. The Wolf matchup right now. Wolf Snake matchup that is. Yeah. Hasn't, I, mean, so I don't know. Hasn't really dropped a beat. Yeah. Us. So what what does AC need to do in disadvantage in order to avoid all this? Because he has to go high most of the time. Otherwise he's gonna get F tilted. The honestly, cipher gets blown up. You know what I mean? Honestly, it's rough because the way Larry is playing, he's not preemptively jumping at Snake. A lot of times you can like mix up a lot of things that you want to land with when you see that they're jumping at you. Like, oh, he's jumping at me. I'm gonna like reverse, you know, grenade pull. But he's just waiting to see what AC does. Yeah, the, the, it's it's hard to deal with someone who just doesn't commit, right? Yeah, he can like fast fall, like, fast fall air dodge to the ground a little bit more. Like have the, the grenades and like the cyphers and you know the down bees, but I yeah, think I, I think I, right now it, AC needs to be in a position where he isn't consistently like being sent in the air, recovering yeah, high, or yeah. jumping like unnecessarily, you know. I mean, I mean, part one of that is just win neutral, right? Yeah. Instead of like being put in disadvantage in first place because the disadvantage is bad, just don't look, don't lose neutral. Oh, actually able to escape that time. Larry was tracking him too. Larry was all over it, but great defense from AC. And now he's taking stage control, back throw, not gonna kill. He's gonna get him into this disadvantage state that AC has been struggling oh. in so much. I don't know if he wanted forward air there. Oh. oh. Fast fall from the cipher. That's gonna kill AC. Okay, dash attack. Take stage control. There's the Nikita. And that's the thing. The, the up B actually deactivates oh. the Nikita. Back throw C4. That's such a good setup. <laughs> did you guys forget where the C4 was? Because I did. <laughs> I, I didn't, but, you know. I mean, Larry. Larry, Larry, Larry did. <laughs> so that, that one, that's a hard one, right? Because you need to DI, like, how do you even DI that? You might have to, like, DI that, like, up and in. Like, oh, he threw this. He set the C4 on the other platform. I need yeah. to, like, 
DI away from the uh, opposite end of the platform. The yeah, scene. like you want to have bad DI in that instance. It's weird. Okay, he's asked the, the I like the Nikita. Big yep, the Nikita Her, landing. The, uh, yeah, the Nikita landing. Oh, Ooh, but Larry. I feel like he's seen that angle that Snake's trying to land. He can just throw out that Wolf Flash too. It's kind of fun. It's just, Snake, Snake has to like continuously worry about Wolf's plentiful hitboxes that he can throw out like very patiently on where he's trying to land. Like there it is again. He's just catching the B-Rays and catching the Porter. It doesn't kill, but he's just keeping him in the earth. And there's the upbeat. That down tilt actually saved AC right there. He yeah. might have died to that upbeat. Yeah, like a low profile of the down tilt. AC needs to get as much mileage as he can in stock. Like, I don't think it's realistic to be able to kill Larry before you get get killed, but like if you can get Larry to 70-ish, I think you're in a decent spot right now. Okay, okay. taking control. There's a Nikita, another one. Going to do it again and again, <laughs> and all it takes is getting Wolf off stage once. Yeah. Out of a double jump and just keep the Nikita. And you know, I said it wasn't realistic, but it definitely was realistic. And that dash attack was perfectly timed because if he had let AC fall just a little bit more, he would have kicked the grenade and he would have gotten saved by it. You know what's something I don't see Last Snakes do anymore? Is uh, in matches like this where they're throwing the, the laser, right. they crouch while holding a grenade and then they just duck and get closer while, like, exploding, you know what I mean? Oh, I see. Yeah. So they can shoot the, they can approach Wolf while having an explosive in their hand and decking under the laser. That can be tough, though, because if you don't time your your attack right afterwards, the grenade, like, grenade could potentially be cooked a little too long. Oh, oh. interesting movement, but Larry just gonna throw out the F-tilt. That's kind of oh. like that, I like that F-tilt because it was kind of like an ignorant, like, I'm just gonna hit you. Mm. Like, I don't care about this mix-up at all. Oh, power throw into the grenade. They see literally using almost every trick he can to get past these wolf type marks on his landing. Now Larry's gonna throw in the grenades back at him. And this is scary now because this is the point where AC could die to just a, a grenade going off in his hand. Or just a boot to the face. Did the classic where you try to pull a grenade in neutral and then they hit you during the grenade pull animation. Yeah, and the, the issue with that is if you're facing them, the grenade is behind you. Yeah. So it actually activates the grenade after you take all of your knockback and you can't get saved by it. Whereas if he was facing the direction, he might not have died there. Yeah. Or maybe he died off the top to the grenade, but he, he didn't die to the dash attack there. Mm. Yeah, this is something I'm, uh, a lot of people should be aware of when they're fighting. I said it earlier when in Key's match, but uh, yeah, definitely when you see that like grenade pull when you're close enough to just gr grab distance, you can grab him or just get a good enough hitbox to you know, punish him for actually pulling grenades. You know? We're going into game three. AC taking us to Battlefield this time. Uh, not surprised. Yeah. Race next stage as far as like game the uh, projectiles on the platforms and making it. Yeah, like seeing like the C4 on the platform, you have the grenades as well. Just and you can tell that this stage is a good snake stage when Larry is just not committing to anything. He is like so down to not approach. Suddenly though, he sees an open and AC kind of just getting hit by that grab, but no follow from Larry. Oh. Yup. Carry him off stage, forward smash, not gonna connect. Would've I don't mean for going Yeah, it would've been a super early stock. There's gonna be a back throw, picks up a grenade, oh. uh, it's a little too cooked. There. Yeah, that's the thing, I love up B to the ledge there because any time that he goes for the Nikita, you just like alleviate it completely. Down throw, now watch out for the grenade. Oh, nice, using the empty hops to bait out the spot yeah. dodge on the platform. That's something a lot of people can do because, you know, a lot of people scared of aerials, but nice. Tech chase from the down throw, yeah, get that, the roll F tilt too. That sucks because it's like you roll in and he probably like reads it and up tilt too. You roll away and he just does that F tilt. Yeah. It's hard. Oh, oh my goodness, no percent taken. Larry immediately answering back with the wolf flash. Yeah, he caught him pulling a grenade, right? Because yeah. the grenade pull animation is it's it's pretty long, all things considered. Yeah. And so that's like a lot of time where you're vulnerable. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of damage on AC right now. But Larry took some too. Oh, I love that get up attack because snakes will try to short hop over the immediate get up attack, yep. right? And so by get up attacking right away there, or, or uh, delaying, delaying, delaying yeah. it rather, yeah, you just watch them fall right on top of you yep. and then you get them. Good awareness. It seems so simple, but it's it's very intelligent. <laughs> yeah, AC going high. He's got to get down. Uh oh, yeah, of course. Oh, that time the the. I like doing a B-reverse C4 because it leaves you with still two more B-reverses, but Larry just going to shut me up yeah. and take that second I, stock. I feel like so many snakes do B-reverse C4 and me that B-first grenade. Yeah, that's the that's the thing, right? You, you need to mix up your timing a little bit. Larry will definitely be keen to that, so. Oh. Oh. Take to the back air. 
Wow. And still can turn around. F tilt, another one. Dude, Larry's just oh. firing on all cylinders. This guy cannot be beat right now. Where are now. you trying to land? Yeah, that's Where a you think you're landing? Right into my foot. 3-0, Larry Lur. Yes, 